Here I have Vico Robbie and let me show you how to accomplish setting up this device. So let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following device. At the very beginning let me start by using the welcome panel. Here you've got full list of available languages that you can use on this device. So in my case let me choose English for instance from United States. You may also choose emergency to make some emergency calls if you need. If not let's go back. Let's tap next button. You can insert SIM card but you can also activate your device without the SIM card so let me do it that way. Let me choose skip. Then let's keep, let me connect device to a Wi-Fi. You can also skip this point by tapping skip but it's always a good idea to have an internet connection so let me connect my device to a Wi-Fi. The device is obtaining IP address. The phone is checking connections. And now you have to decide either you would like to copy your Google accounts, apps and data from one of your other devices or you can tap no thanks and set up your phone as a new. Let me choose no thanks and tap next. And now you can add a Google account to your device or you can skip this point by tapping skip in that corner. But the Google account enables you some interesting features so let me connect my device. You can do it in two ways, you can create a new account by using that blue link or use an existing one. So let me use an existing one, let's input an email. Let's tap next. Let's enter a password, let me do it, let's wait a couple of seconds. If you are ready, let me simply tap next. Let's accept terms of service and privacy policy by tapping accept in that corner. Now the phone is checking info, let's wait a couple of seconds. So here you can enable or disable a couple of Google services features, for example automatically backup device data, help apps find your location, improve location accuracy, and help improve your Android experience. In my case, let me leave all of these features enabled and let's tap next. Now the device is asking you to set up payment information. You don't have to do this, you can bypass this step by tapping no thanks and by tapping continue. So you can also add another email if you would like to use some other personal email or you can tap not now and you can do it later in the settings. Let me tap next and at this point you have to decide that you would like to set up a pin, pattern or password to protect your screen or you can do it later in settings or you can not use a screen lock at all. So let me for now do it later, let me unlock pro the protection and let's tap next, tap skip anyway. And here you've got a couple of things. You can restore apps, update system settings and other stuff from one of your backup from one of your previous phones. But in my case, let me choose don't restore. So let me just choose set up as a new device, tap done, tap next. And the welcome panel just pops up. Let me skip the tour and let me allow a couple of options. And that's it. As you can see now you can use your device. Everything went well. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.